Welcome to PLP News. PLP News will be a source of information about what's happening in the PLP and progressive movements throughout the country. PLP News will be your direct link to information on PLP events and will give you unprecedented access to the leaders of the PLP. On Friday, April 12th, Cat Islanders welcomed with cheers Her Excellency the Most Honorable Dame Marguerite Penling, Governor General of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, as she made an official visit to the island. Dame Marguerite was greeted and hosted by PLP leader and the Member of Parliament for Cat Island, the Honorable Philip Brave Davis. On the 29th of March, PLP gathered to commemorate and celebrate its rich and illustrious history on the occasion of the 65th anniversary of the party. A gala event was held at the Dundas Theatre of Performing Arts. An array of PLP leaders paid homage to the great history of the party and sacrifices of generations of Bahamians who built this country through their work in the PLP. PLP leader Philip Brave Davis gave an inspiring speech that honored the past and laid out his vision for charting a bright new future. That collective value system of hard work with a focus on education from both of my parents was passed on to me and has shaped my character, my outlook on life and my role in shaping the bigger picture, not just for me, but for my generation and beyond. And I have my parents to thank. rank-and-file PLP members, young and old, were also honored for their contributions to the party. Her Excellency the Most Honorable Dame Marguerite Penling arrived at Georgetown Exuma on Tuesday, April 23rd. She was greeted by I. Chester Cooper, the Member of Parliament for the Exumas and PLP Deputy Leader, as well as a host of local dignitaries and officials. The trip to Exuma was part of the Governor General's official trips to visit various parts of the country. Each PLP news recording, the news team will take you, our viewers, on a trip down memory lane. For this segment, we highlight April 27, 1965, now known as Black Tuesday here in the Bahamas. The late Sir Lyndon Pinling, the then leader of the opposition and later Prime Minister, threw the Speaker's mace from the east window of the House of Assembly to protest the gerrymandering boundaries by the then governing United Bahamian Party. The mace was later repaired by the government from funds raised by the public. No prosecutions arose from this act of defiance, but the event catapulted Sir Lyndon Pilling into greater national prominence as a man of courage and foresight. The election of 10th January 1967 was fought on the boundary set in 1965. The PLP demonstrated against the backdrop of their loss to the UBP in 1962 which came about because the number of seats in the then called Out Islands exceeded the number of seats in New Providence where the majority of the people lived. That resulted in the PLP winning the popular vote in 1962 but losing the general election because they lost the total seat count. The PLP determined that with the new constitution of the country in place, 
the boundaries had to be fairly drawn. This has been a presentation of PLP News.